Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to evaluate the sum of these two cube roots, cube root of 6 times square root of 3 minus 10 plus cube root of negative 6 times square root of 3 minus 10. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. To make things simple, let me go ahead and make a substitution. Let me go ahead and call this very first cubic root as an x and this second cubic root as y. Then we can write x equals to the cube root of this first one is 6 times square root of 3 minus 10 and let me call the other one y equal to now let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two now let me go ahead and focus on this equation one and here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and take a cube on both sides. I'm going to take power 3 on both sides. So on this left hand side cube x cube rather is going to give us uh, this cube and cube root they undo each other. We simply ended up with 6 times square root of 3 minus 10. And likewise, I have copied down this equation 2 right up here. Let's go ahead and repeat the same process. I'm going to take a cube on both side power 3. Let's add these two equations. And here I have copied down these two equations. Let's go ahead and add them up. So this x cube plus y cube is going to be equal to these two they cross each other out so we ended up with simply negative 20. So let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 3. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply these equations 1 and 2 now. So we can write them x times y equals to on the right hand side I can write the cube root of 6 times square root of 3 minus 10 and then times the cube root of negative 6 times square root of 3 minus 10. And now let's focus on this right hand side part only. And here I have copied them down. The only thing is I just switched these terms over here the other way around. And in this next step I have wrote down these two radicands under the same shelter with the cube root. And now we can see that this represents the product of the sum and the difference. So therefore we are going to use this famous identity. So therefore we can write and negative 8 could be written as a negative 2 power 3. And now this uh, cube and cube root they undo each other. So we ended up with simply negative 2. So therefore the value of this whole thing has been simplified to negative 2. So therefore we can write x times y equals to negative 2. Let me call this as an equation number 4. And here's our next step. Let's recall this well-known cubic identity a plus b whole cube. If I replace this a by x and b by y then we can write this one as x plus y whole cube equals to x cube plus y cube plus 3 times x y times x plus y. And now we can see x cube plus y cube equals to negative 20 from this equation. 3 and this x times y is 
negative 2 from equation 4 so we are going to replace them with negative 20 and this with the negative 2 so therefore we can write this equation as x plus y whole power 3 equals to negative 20 plus 3 times negative 2 times x plus y and in this next step 3 times negative 2 is going to give us negative 6 and now let's go ahead and move everything on the left hand side to make things simple let's make a substitution I'm gonna put x plus y as u wherever we see x plus y I'm gonna replace it by u so therefore I can write u equals to x plus y so therefore of this equation could be written as u power 3 plus 6 u plus 20 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is a cubic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring so therefore let me go ahead and tweak this part 6u I can write this one as negative 4u plus 10u and now we can see over here between first two terms u is in common and between the last two terms 10 is in common so therefore we can write u times u square minus 4 plus 10 times u plus 2 equal to 0 and now let's recall this identity a square minus b square we are going to apply over here u square minus 4 so this could be written as u plus 2 times u minus 2 and now we can see that this u plus 2 and u plus 2 is in common so we can factor u plus 2 outside and inside the bracket we got u times u minus 2 plus 10 equals to 0 and here in this next step we distributed this thing u so we got u square minus 2u plus 10 and now we are going to separate these two factors I can write this thing first one is u plus 2 equal to 0 and the second factor is going to be u square minus 2u plus 10 equal to 0 and for this first equation u equals to negative 2 and this second equation is our quadratic equation let's go ahead and investigate it and now let's recall this quadratic formula and let's focus on this uh, radicant b square minus 4ac and this b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant and the discriminant is going to tell us what kind of solutions we are going to get and here we got a discriminant table as you can see if the discriminant is either positive or zero we are going to have solutions and if the discriminant is less than zero that means negative then we are not going to have any real solution so let's go ahead and calculate this discriminant b square minus 4ac where a is 1 b is negative 2 and c is positive 10 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so b square is going to become negative 2 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 10 and here we simplified and our discriminant turns out to be negative 36 which is less than zero let's look at our this uh, table we can see that whenever our discriminant is uh, less than zero that means it's negative so that means no real solutions so we have no real solution for this quadratic equation 
So therefore we are going to reject this uh, scenario. So therefore we are going to accept only this solution which is u equal to negative 2. And here's our final step. We know that our u value turns out to be negative 2 but we know that we substituted u as uh, x plus y. So therefore I replace this u by simply x plus y and this x plus y equals to negative 2 now. But then we know that our x value is this one, this cube root and likewise the y value is this uh, another cube root. And here I have replaced x by this cube root over here plus uh, y by this another cube root and this turns out to be equal to negative 2. So thus our simplified answer for the sum of these two cube roots uh, turns out to be negative 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.